Love it, sizzle. Hey, welcome back to the Men's Kitchen. Glad to have you, glad to have you here. Uh, if I have any new viewers, we thank you for viewing in. Thank you to my to subscribers and viewers that, that have viewed in. Um, today, what we're going to do is, I've got plenty to do today. I'm going to do red beans and rice. I'm going to do um, chicken tenders, and then I'm gonna do hot bread on the stove. So we're gonna get right into it. I've already washed my hands. Here is the, uh, some of the ingredients that I'm gonna use, green onions, uh, sweet onion, and I'm gonna use green pepper and dewy sausage. And this will go into my beans, okay? So we're gonna start by cutting out. I think I'll cut my dewy sausage first and get that out the way. Hope everybody's had a fine week. <clears throat> Been praying for you as usual. Uh, so this is the Dewey sausage that I'm cutting up in round pieces. Well, I'm gonna cut it some more too so it can stretch. But um, yeah, I'm gonna use this Dewey sausage. And this was introduced to me by a niece of mine that was starting out training. Uh, she's being a chef and we went down to Nebraska and uh, this is the first time I tried Dewey because she used it in a gumbo. And I just, me and my husband just fell in love with it. We fell in love with it. And so, yeah, now, you know, this is the thing now to do it. So I'm gonna attempt to go ahead and, and do this uh, uh, right, red, red beans and rice um, and see how it turns out. So you'll just come along with me, you know, and see how much fun we'll have doing this. This will be good on Parker, like it is. It's a quick snack. So what I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to kind of like uh, fry, the, fry it a little bit for you. Remember my dish soap. I have dish soap when I cook. Beforehand, is I, uh, for my beans, I wash them, let them sit, and uh, then I put them on and I know some people say, well, you cook your beans for eight hours, but the type of pan that I use, it cuts down the cooking time. Okay, that's green, my green um, onion. This is basil. It's already fresh, I mean, fresh basil. Put up in there. Okay. I want to smell good. I see people, let me try this. I'm gonna try it. I don't cut, usually cut like this, but I'm gonna try it. Go on here. I'm gonna kind of like vary from some things. I use what I had really in my kitchen, um, but still, it should be a good. You can make it any kind of way you want to. Just how Lynn's kitchen gonna make it today. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get the turkey leg. We're gonna shred that. I'm gonna shred this a little bit. Yeah, but look at that. Okay. Okay, so that's chopped. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and uh, I'm gonna add this to our beans. We're gonna start doing our beans. Okay. So while I'm waiting for my my um, it's good to get warm for the dewy. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and add my ingredients to the beans. My green pepper and the onions and I got the basil in there, fresh basil. And I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna go ahead and add my ham, my, my turkey meat in there. Oh, you hear that, the sizzling. Okay, I'm gonna stir a little bit here. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, 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 y'all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Again, I'm gonna cut this up just a little bit. I had it on simmer. 
And I'm gonna let that simmer in there. Put this back on here and we'll get to the doing. Okay, and cut that down a little bit. I don't want to burn. I just want it to open up the flavors a little bit. Because uh, the soup itself is going to, um, the bean itself is going to, and the juices and everything, it's going to hit it, but I just want to open up. Mmm, do it, do it. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Oh my God. Okay, while my jewelry is cooking, I'm going to um, go ahead and, and, and uh, put the seasonings, the other seasonings, the dry seasonings, into my bin. We got this on like medium high, and so my onion powder is what I usually use, my garlic powder. Today we're doing the Creole, put a little kick, just a little kick to it. And again, complete seasoning and some pepper. Okay. And I'm gonna, after I put the dewy sausage in there, I'm gonna just let it simmer. I already have my rice on. I have that in a in a rice cooker. Oh, look at that. Look at that, look good. Okay. And this is about as much as I want to cook. Cause I'm gonna let the, um, we're gonna let the, um, Put it in here. I'm putting the juice and all, y'all. I'm gonna do it to the gel. So now the taste is pretty good. I love what I'm tasting. Okay, now we're in this part where we're gonna do the chicken strips. I have seasoned my chicken strips with pepper, complete um, blend. I've got chicken fajita, seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, chicken rub and I, a little bit of poultry seasoning and everything that I season my chicken with is in my flour also for extra you know seasoning and I took and um, had these marinated in the refrigerator took I took them out so they could kind of the air can be knocked off so I use one egg and maybe a half a cup of buttermilk and I marinated the chicken strips in that so we're gonna to begin to cook them. The grease is hot enough, you all, let me see. Yep. A little stick right here. It's sizzling. Um, and I, I learned this little trick. Somebody, I don't know where I got that from, but there, it's a method of you seeing how hot the grease is. If the grease bubbles up along uh, with this stick that bubbles up, then that's, they say that's when your grease is hot. So I got this up to maybe about, um, about 350 right now. And we're gonna start. I'm gonna dip. I got my gloves on. Put a couple of strips in here. And this is um, this is breast, um, skinless breast that I took and cut in halves, like strips. They have the strips. And I'm trying this buttermilk thing out because I've never tried the buttermilk before. I just thought, okay, just do something new. Let's see. Ah, that's what we want. Hear that sizzle? I love sizzle. Yes. I'm just gonna leave these in here to get, to get brown and real crispy. I'm looking for a nice. Oh, look at you. Yes. Wow. Yeah, hear that? Hear that? Love that sizzle. Turn it down about 325 because I don't want these to burn. I want them to 
I want them to cook. You don't want to half cook them either. Okay, oh my goodness, the smell. Yes, indeed it. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay. All right. I'm going to see how this is going to turn out. And I was going to tell you that um, while, while I was gone, I forgot to tell y'all. I used some of my turkey, uh, my turkey um, juice, the smoked turkey juice, and added it in my beans. And I also forgot to put my garlic in there. So I used a half a teaspoon of minced garlic and put it off in there. So I've got the beans simmering on low, and my rice is cooked. And my drawer is all open, excuse me. But things are coming along. Fine. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna let this cook this up. I'd say about maybe cut that a little bit. Um, depending on how crunchy you want them or how dark. Some people like them really light, but no. Um, yeah. So I'll be back with you. I'm gonna cook the rest of these up and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, and we're back and this is the last of the chicken. I'm getting it up out of here. Nice, crispy, golden strips. Mmm, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. There you have it. Golden chicken. And there we have it, y'all. Don't look good? Oh my goodness and the aroma that's in my house right now. Wow, y'all. So, we'll be back. Okay, this part of the video, we're going to do the hot water cornbread. I just said hot water, corn, hot water, but it's hot water cornbread. Simple recipe. Um, we're gonna use cornmeal. Some use white, but I use yellow. And we're just gonna boil it, put it in the bowl. Yeah, just ball it. I'm gonna ball it. I'm gonna enough to make at least just four. Just to give you an idea. Okay. And I want to do just a little bit. And a little bit of sugar. Like right that. Okay. I'm gonna mix it. Some people use a lot of ingredients. It depends on how you're making it. That's just what I'm plain and simple. This is cornmeal with a little bit of sugar in it. Um, you gotta, it's all, when the ingredients is all mixed in. Some people do use uh, salt. Some people use high rise and a little bit of high rise and flour in theirs. Um, I've even heard tell that they even put a little bit of olive oil in, what have you. But just plain and simple for me. Something plain and simple, not too hard. I'm gonna, um, Get my water because you gotta have hot, hot water for this. That's why they call it hot water bread. So I got my water, it's hot. Woo Here we go. Put it in there, I'm gonna stir it up in here. Look at that, okay. Eyeball it, depends on how much of it you're making. Um, you want to get it where you can make like little cakes out of it. Okay? And it's hot. Let's see. Okay, almost here. You see how hot that is? Okay, so you get it all mixed up. So this is the consistency that I want, like that, okay? And yes, it's hot. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna rinse my hands, and you wanna say, why is this water here? Because you have to mix this and it's hot. You cool your hands down. Some people run uh, their hands on the faucet, but I saved my water, so this is hot water. Take. Yeah, and you make your, make your pants. I just have to be so neat. And anyway, I'm just dip back in there. But uh, yeah, that's how you make it. So you're gonna burn your hands. And it depends on how much of these that, that you make, but you make them into like little, little pancakes, little hotcakes, like that. 
and it is it's warm okay and get some more water more water and a little bit more and just like little kicks like that okay yeah this is warm and i see why they tell you but this is supposed to be southern it's another type of southern and, and since I've been down here, I have been trying to try some southern recipes, you know, getting a little hand, a little, little something going on down here. Um, learning how some of them cook. And it's been great, you know. Never too old to learn things, that's for sure. And I've, I've had a ball learning the different cultures down here and what they cook and how they cook it. So those are my patties. Okay, here we are. A little trick again. I always use my little stick for my oil to see how hot it is. Can y'all see the sizzle? See there? We put some oil in the pan and we're gonna go ahead, because it's hot enough, and we're gonna put these in, okay? I'm putting the grease down a little bit. I don't want it burn. Let them cook. They get like a golden brown. I'm going to wait and move them and then get a little bit better so I can put that one in. I'm just going to wait until these uh, cook up. I'm going to check them. It's time to flip them. We want a light golden. There we go. That's what I was looking for. A light golden brown. See there? Flip them. Oh, look at that. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna let this crisp on the other side, and then we'll take them out. I'm gonna make sure we get some glue in there. Oh, wow, look at that. I'm gonna put some juice drippings in there also. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna take it back over. Put that in. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get the rest plated, all right? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna plate this and put it like this. There we go. I, I did cut up some, some parsley and a bit of decoration. There we go. And here you have it. Your red beans and rice, hot water cornbread, and your, uh, chicken uh, tender strips, all made from Lynn's Kitchen. And I hope you enjoyed the time with me as I've enjoyed with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and mostly subscribe to this channel. I'll see you again on Lynn's Kitchen next time. Bye.